everyone. Okay, so last week we were talking about the Dremel and I showed you how I use my Dremel to drill holes. Uh, this week we are looking at polishing. You'd need to use this attachment for polishing. Pop those into the, the end of the Dremel. Open the chuck. Make sure you close it. Now when you're closing the chuck, you need to push down this button here whilst you close it really tightly and then release it and it's there, it's in place, okay? Now, as far as polishing compounds go, they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. So this is quite a big one. This will take me a long time to get through this one. I actually usually use one that I have. It's a bit smaller, it's a bit messy, but I'll show you. I keep it in here. Goggles on, get your piece that you want to polish and some compound, some jeweler's rouge. I'm just gonna pop a bit of that on there. Yeah, so it will look worse before it looks better. Um, it will kind of go a little bit black in colour, maybe, you know, look a little bit messy. But if you push down firmly onto the piece, then all of the blackness will start to come off and you'll see the shine will be revealed. Okay, so if there's any residue left over from the polish, uh, the best thing to do is to just get hot water a toothbrush and lots of fairy liquid. Give it a soak and a brush and then you'll see what's left to polish and what's already shiny and it'll just take off any of the little black bits or any little spots of you know the polish that you might have got left on the piece. So yeah that's a, just a really good tip for finishing it off.